Not so long ago, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles were presented as the future for passenger cars. There was a lot of hype and they had a great prospect according to some. They promised benefits like faster refueling, longer driving distances, and eco-friendly energy. All of which sounds fantastic. But yet we do not see hydrogen cars on the roads now. So what happened? Why aren't they hitting the road? And more importantly, who or what killed the hydrogen car? Keep watching, because in today's video, we will reveal the five factors that made this technology lose its initial traction after all the hype that was surrounding it. But to be able to answer that, first we must cover some basics. How do hydrogen cars work? Unlike an internal combustion engine, hydrogen vehicles are equipped with fuel cells that produce electricity by creating a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. It is the same chemical reaction that powers rockets. The process is entirely clean, no gas emissions, no toxic byproducts whatsoever, making it perfect for the ongoing demand for vehicles that don't affect the environment. The first thing you should know is that hydrogen cars are electric cars. Well, sort of. Because like battery electric vehicles, BEVs, they're powered by an electric motor. But what makes the hydrogen fuel cell cars different from other electric vehicles is that they produce the electricity themselves, whereas the BEVs get their power from a built-in battery that can be charged from an external power source. In fuel cell technology, a process known as reverse electrolysis takes place, in which hydrogen reacts with oxygen in the fuel cell. The hydrogen comes from the inbuilt tank of the vehicle, and oxygen is collected from the air. During this reaction, electrical energy is produced, which is then delivered either to the electric motor to power the vehicle directly, or charges a battery that stores the energy until it's needed. And something that makes it very much interesting to those environmental-friendly users is that the byproducts from this reaction are harmless water and energy. Yes, literal water is what comes out of the exhaust. Why is hydrogen failing? Now, the thing that made you click on this video, why this zero-emission technology has failed to gather the attention of the world. Price Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, like any new technology, are not cheap. Fuel cell vehicles are still priced like luxury cars in the range of $60,000 to $100,000, a lot higher than the lower-priced electric Tesla Model 3. The reason for this high price is that the fuel cell is very expensive and is delicate and complex to operate. It also requires the use of precious metals, such as platinum, to manufacture it. On top of the price of refueling is another fact that needs to be included under the price. IC cars use gasoline, and gasoline is sold by the gallon where hydrogen by the kilogram. Compared with fossil energy, hydrogen fuel is more expensive. Like one kilogram of hydrogen fuel is about three times that of one gallon of gasoline, and almost twice as high as that of battery-powered vehicles charged at home. Convenience After the price, there comes the ease of using your car. As a machine, your car will need power, and there needs to be sufficient service infrastructures from where you can refuel your vehicle to ensure better convenience. Tesla operates over 20,000 superchargers in over 1,800 stations worldwide. And in the case of hydrogen-fueled cars, the numbers are quite low. There are less than 600 publicly available hydrogen refueling stations in operation worldwide, with only 45 in the USA. Almost five years after the first mass-produced hydrogen-fueled car, Toyota Mirai, was delivered, that's not very impressive. Furthermore, just keeping the stations up and running has been a challenge. Hydrogen as a fuel is incredibly hard to make and distribute with acceptably low losses. If technology can't ensure the users of its convenience, then it is bound to fail. Performance one kilogram of hydrogen releases as much energy as three liters of petrol. However, hydrogen is the smallest and lightest element in the universe, and its energy density is very low. That means we need to store a lot of it under high pressure to obtain the amount needed to operate a car. The 2021 Toyota Mirai reaches 0 to 60 miles per hour 
within 8 to 9 seconds according to various articles. Where the Tesla Model 3 rushes from 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. In addition to that, hydrogen fuel cells also fail to deliver high energy efficiency. There are two electrochemical processes involved in producing the electricity from hydrogen, within where 60% of energy falls, resulting in the overall efficiency of a hydrogen fuel cell to 40%. Environment this is easily the most frustrating part about hydrogen fuel cell powered vehicles, as it came to the limelight as a much greener option. The whole purpose of a hydrogen vehicle is that it has no emissions versus an ICE counterpart. Yet the vast majority of the energy used to create hydrogen comes from natural gas. Simply put, the production process involves burning fossil fuel, so not exactly a green way to produce hydrogen. The reason it won't be changing that soon is this process is cheap and when consumers are given a choice between cheap hydrogen or expensive hydrogen created renewable energy sources, we all know which one it will be. Competition Do you know how many hydrogen-fueled cars are there right now? The number is three. Toyota Mirai is the world's first mass-produced dedicated fuel cell EV. Then it was joined by the Honda Clarity fuel cell and the Hyundai Nexo. Since 2012, more than 8,000 hydrogen-fueled cars have been sold. On the contrary, the battery electric vehicle sale is booming each year. Only Tesla company delivered 499,550 vehicles over the year 2020. So you can see the huge gap in popularity. For these reasons, Elon Musk has dismissed hydrogen fuel cells as mind-bogglingly stupid even calling them fool cells. But another technology with far better prospects to disrupt and dominate the automotive industry in the near future is the solid-state battery. Want to know more about this nonetheless polemic technology? Tap on the video on top of your screen. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.